I'm not afraid of AI. I'm afraid of what people will do with AI. All these issues of control and taking over and power, those are people using AI. We keep dreaming that this AGI will take over and there's very little proof that that's even close to happening. And even if it does, why would we set it up that way? Because we're used to that old top-down software model, right? Where you have to buy the software and then everything goes down to the file. This one reverses it and starts with the file and works back up to people. See, an AI agent that just gets lists of our tasks and to-dos, that's all based on that 40 plus year old software model where and each one of us has a different to-do list and different ways of organizing ourselves and communicating. Automation is supposed to improve efficiency. And the glaring problem we face as humans is we're really not good at organizing and communicating. So automating what we're not good at doesn't solve the problem. See, the real revolution isn't adding AI features to existing software. Software sort of makes things complex. Building AI agents to automate old workflows. Again, we're just enhancing something that was started in the 80s. Layering intelligence on top of outdated systems when even, like I said in the beginning, if you're sending an email, you don't start with three pieces of software, you start talking to a chatbot and sending the email for you. So the real revolution is letting AI handle organization and communication natively from the file, the object. Breaking free from the file folder approach and building from the ground up with AI as the foundation, not that in control. See, AI is not here just to augment our old software models, even though that's what it looks like it's doing in the first wave. It's here to replace them entirely. Imagine a world where you never have to think about file management, application switching and integrating it. You ever run a business and brought in a new piece of software? It's hard, you gotta train everybody and it makes things more complex and being organized in a digital world. It's just pure intention and outcome mediated by AI. See, if AI is gonna change the world, how come so many focus on making the way they use software the old way more efficient? The de deal is, the deal is, you need to stress less by forcing you to keep track of everything, especially with more and more happening. You have more time to be creative and solve those problems and watch your ideas come to life faster because you're not busy organizing and making sure everybody knows the communications handle for you. These aren't new tools. This is a platform. AI does not act like software necessarily. It acts to coordinate information around the things you're working on. It's a whole new way of working, trusting your project to be smart so you can have the time to really do what you do better. Ready to work smarter, not harder? I am. And it's not about big AI. It's about tiny AI agents and tiny language models, TLMs, to manage it and start thinking that we don't have to be overwhelmed by all the information and meetings in life. That is something AI can do better. And by giving it control from the bottom up rather than the way everybody's doing it top down is actually a better way of doing things. But what do you think? You want to keep working with something that was built in the 80s? Because I know Microsoft and Google and Apple sure would like you to keep working that way. But what if there's something else? That's fascinating to me.